Where am I? Oh, they're here. Never mind. Oh, that's right. We only hired um, redheads. Oh my god, I got the most hateful comment from a ginger. I gotta show you guys. Well, I don't. I can't show you. I'll tell you guys. It was on a lady judge video, a Sims Medieval video. And after she called people with red hair evil, I'm out. Peace, cunt. And then there's a bunch of people saying that I was joking, obviously. And then they're like, yeah, every single time she says it, it's just a joke. You morons are in denial because you like her so much. And then someone responded to that. Oh my god, so offensive. I'm going to die. No. And I'm like, damn, like you literally just proved my point that gingers are evil. Because I'm guessing they have red hair. You guys are all brainwashed into hating gingers. Even though we only hired them in this store. Frankly, I think we're discriminating everyone else. And what the what the hell? How come the amount of red-haired people in The Sims is, like, overwhelming? There's really not that many in real life. But I feel like they are a majority of The Sims. Yes, I've been brainwashing you guys all this time. Low-key, we're actually really evil. Yeah, we do Yeah, I, yeah, we do some evil shit in video games. That's true. Restaurant chef Hillary Wyatt needs more training to cook everything on the menu well. God, this stupid asshole. She doesn't know how to cook. This is why we needed Paula. But I have to, like, make Paula homeless to get her to cook. Trigger ginger for next Hunger Games. Oh, my God. No, I have no... Connie, I have no issues with people with red hair. I have much love for you. It's all just jokes. It's easier to pick on you guys because, I don't know, no one gets offended. <laughs> that sounds bad. Well, except for that girl. She got offended. Like, if someone, I don't know, made fun of me for, I don't know, what could they make um, I don't know, something that wasn't like, I don't know, maybe it is a big deal and I need to, like, not call people with red hair evil. Maybe that's actually really mean. I just thought it was so silly to the point that no one would get offended because obviously that's crazy. But I feel like most of my viewers understand my sarcasm and that I'm like, I'm an equal opportunist when it comes to being evil for the most part. Kelly's afro hair. Okay, that's too far. It's not fucking funny. I had such hair problems in California, dude. You don't even know. It's... It's so frizzy. I could strain it, but then it hits the heat and it's like, poof. You feel bad for the employees if they mess up, Paula will choke them with butter. Paula would. Yeah, not everyone understands a sense of humor. But it, it is pretty funny when I go on videos that, um, will get search results of whatever maybe someone's searching the sims 4 they'll find one of my videos and they're new to my channel and then they just watch one of my videos and they're like holy shit you're evil you're a horrible person i'm like what or like they'll get really angry about something or another like how i don't see like there were a number of people who were very offended that we were evil in the sims medieval as queen lady judge and it's like but what's the fun of not being evil like that game isn't fun if you're not evil it's tolerable but it's not fun four reviews all at one stars who the fuck are these assholes it's because of our crappy chef it's so horrible Oh, scribble knots, yes, it was scribble knots. Oh, People were really mad because I had to get the kitten out of the tree, and so I made a dragon and it burned the cat and killed it. <laughs> there were so there were so many angry comments. I was like, I responded to one. I was like, dude, it's like pixels. These aren't real animals. You need to chill. I got the cat out of this fucking tree, didn't I? <laughs> Tree. Ah. So relax. Limpia Zerpa. 
behind the bame. I wonder if you could make bleach on that game. I don't know why. I was thinking of different ways to deal with the cat. Can Paula just like low key make the um? Damn, she can't. She can't even click on this stuff. That sucks. I was gonna low key have her cook the food. Anyone upstairs? We should look. Anyone doing anything up here? No. Makey has. Hey, Paula, we'd love to have you join. I don't even know you. I don't want to join your club. That's a scheme. Total scheme. Yeah, why are there piles of trash? Why are there piles of trash in my restaurant? <laughs> Who's leaving piles of trash? Is it because we don't have a trash can? Why don't we have a trash can? Damn. All right, we better get a trash can. Greet the customers. All right, good idea. The waiter's station acts as a trash can. For real? Well, they're doing a pretty shitty job. Like, look, she's literally, she's just laying the trash on the floor. Like, what is that? A turtle's gonna, like, swim into those things and die. It's bad for the environment. Like, I can't have this in my restaurant. Paul will deal with it. <laughs> when did they put Kelly in the game? Whatever. Alright, are we got we're trash free now? Look, she's not even happy at her job. She's like stomping around being like Oh, Look, she's like frowning at the customers, <laughs> growling at them. Like, do you want to keep your job? Look at her, looking at the customers like that. Ew, ew. Hey guys, Bella God. All of our employees are just stomping around furious. Is it because I took away their trash? Oh god, and then the owner is sleeping on the bench. Jesus Christ. Wake up. Please wake up. You know what? We're gonna close. We need to rethink our strategy. Paula, just go home. You need to have a day on your own. Impregnate the female customers. Oh god. Well, maybe we, we'll do that with Tara. That would be to add, we could add her so she can impregnate people, and then we'll impregnate the customers. I like that actually. That's cute. All right, your but your restaurant's ratings show how well your customers like your restaurant. The higher the rating, the more customers will visit. We're good in ambience. Look, they freaking love how I decorated that restaurant. They love that butter feel to it. Our meal quality and service is shit, though. Ugh. Wait, do, does she even live here? Why do I feel like this is she went to the wrong house? Make it so that Paula can cook? Alright, I want to do that, but like, how do, how do I do that? How do I make her homeless? Do I just kick her out of her house and then she should show up? Wait, oh, I, oh, I can search by origin. I, dirt! I never searched by origin ID. Damn, they had you right up in there. All right, all right. Or should we just have, like, you do have a lot of chefs. What would we just have? No, delicious. what are you doing? I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. You need to just fuck right off. Call her up, tell her the bad news. Alright, and then... Ah! See, I don't know how you get on this list! She's not here. She's for a fucking waiter? How is she a waiter? She has full cooking skills. Why would we make her a waiter? This is such a bad business idea. This doesn't even make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. Wait, the list is random? Alright, let's try. 
going home and then coming back and see what happens. It's like it worked, but it didn't work, you know? She has full cooking skills. <laughs> oh, look at these two Paulines jamming out together. That's a beautiful thing, if I ever saw a beautiful thing. Hell fucking yes! Wait, where did her chef skills go? Well, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Who fucking cares? Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh my god, our employees aren't even here yet. Hold on, sorry. Yes! Yes! Markle Fetch, Badish. Badish. Yes! Oh my! This is the butteriest restaurant that has ever buttered. This is amazing! Globiuna. You can't get into the action. Alright, where is our Paula Dean waitress? So, so. There's a lot of old men coming to eat here. Like, they're trying uh, so, so. to tap that ass. Look at it. Look at this. Like, they're trying to get in her. We have gone full Paula. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, damn. Look at this guy. Wait, why is there only old people here? Like, everyone has gray hair. Like, we deleted all the people with red hair, and now all of a sudden, everyone has gray hair. Oh, shit. We found a blonde. It's safe. Oh god, all right, we're safe, you guys, don't worry. I thought old people were taking over for a second. They did enter the restaurant at 5 a.m. It's a little weird. The early bird special. It's seniors night, I like it. We should have seniors. We should, you should be able to have like special nights. You dabbed so hard you broke your arm. I am so sorry to hear that. Like, what is this guy wearing? Is that an at? Like, I didn't even know this was a clothing item. The restaurant chef Paulie needs more training. Oh, shut up! Make the customers wear thongs and stilettos. <laughs> we could um see what they look like in their underwear. Wait, where's that thing to do that? I wish they would change right away. Only the new customers will be wearing uh, sleepwear. Hey, the reviews are going up. Still with that ambience. How's Paula's? How are the Paula's doing back here? Holy shit! She just sliced her with a knife. Oh, that was never mind. It was her phone. I thought she fucking shanked her. That was very scary. Where's the butter? Where's the butter? Where is it? Um, that's not the entrance to the restaurant. Asshole. <laughs> oh, of course Nancy Landgrab's here showing off her tits. Why wouldn't she be? Oh shit. Oh my god. Wow. 
Whoa, what, what is going on here? I like that they made it so you can have all the customers wear like different you know, they have, you can set what clothes they wear. I think it's pretty funny. And especially that they included sleepwear. Family breakfast time. Aww. <laughs> Damn, do you see that look she gave her? Holy shit, she gave her a real quick look like, bitch, I hope you die. That was evil. Holy shit. Are people up here? Uh, not really. Are people using the bathroom? Oh, oh shit, what? Oh. Clean this shit up! You're not having trash all over our restaurant anymore. Brother said he'd give you five pounds if you downed three packets of butter. Yeah, that's not worth. Needs to be more money. More money. Wait. <laughs> Our net prop. We do not have a net profit. Bye. We're on our way though. <laughs> One day. Oh, wait, I can hire a lot more. Okay. Man, now we don't have any more Paula Deans left. Hold on. Should we add more Paula Deans or should we just hire other people? Like I wanna keep the theme going. I just need to get these. Um. Yeah. Okay. We need more hosts. Wait, is there a Paladine wanting to eat here? <laughs> There's even a Paladine eating here. What the fuck? I think we just hired you, new Paladine that's eating here. <sighs> wow! She flew right in. Like, what off? I'm here. I bet, is pussy a banned word? Um, is pussy a banned word? Because I'm about to throw a fucking fit if it's a banned word in the community gallery. Um, this isn't acceptable. How are you gonna have the sim saying pussy and you it's not an allowed word? Um, excuse me? Oh my god, we can't have... You can't be doing this, Paula, in your fucking restaurant. You're disturbing the customers. Go wash your hands a million times. <laughs> Alright, wash your fucking hands, Paula. And why is the host Paula up here? You literally are gonna have customers waiting downstairs, probably. Okay, they're not. Never mind. Is she just visiting from another table because, or does she not have a chair? I mean, there's other places to sit where there. Uh, holy sh! Wait a second! Is that Tara Dickoff? It uh. It was her. <gasps> She's here. She's scoping out the competition. <laughs> I'm sure I called us out for having flies on this thing. <laughs> she is doing corporate espionage. <laughs> it's clear. <laughs> oh, okay, I see where. Never mind. We'll get her some training. Hmm, little on the pricey side. Oh, um, no, you're just poor. Don't eat here. You don't need your kind here. What do you have to say? Wait, hold on, pause. I didn't know we could see things. Damn! Wait, what? 
that's the same. What does Tara think? All this attention from the owner is making me feel real special. Really special. This meal definitely doesn't look too great. Um... Neither does your face. Pizza. 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 Eyelashes hey. even on your eyes. Are you ready to play? Dino Jesus, five months in a row. Thank you for your support. See this guy, this place has great prices. Ew. Oh wait, never mind. I thought she was dirty, but it was just the smoke. I was like, ew, our chefs are dirty. All right, you know what? Now I'm like self-conscious. I'm gonna just do that. The polyface is your new profile pic? Nice. Sorry, I'll start Like the customers inside? Come in. Oh shit. There's no way for them to get out unless they jump off the roof. Which is an option. Oh my god, no! Paula! Don't do it, Paula! No! Paula! Paula, don't leap! Think of Kate! Kate wouldn't want you to. Kate, no! What? <laughs> what? Jesus has saved her. Oh my God. God is real. Proof. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. So like, how is she supposed to get out of there though? Is she gonna drown? Like, I just don't see how we're saving her from this. Uh, yeah, now she's stuck in the air, about to drown in the air. All right, <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna teleport you. I, oh God damn it. That didn't work. That didn't work. All right. Uh, don't swim in the air. Oh, there we go. Perfect. We saved her. We saved her. Maybe we should close soon. We've been open for like 14 hours. Eh, it's only 7.30. No one's coming though. Like, how could they not want to eat here? Or are they upstairs? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Never mind. I guess it's a happy hour. All right. Killing it on the drink. Killing it. I'm like a Paula. Expert status. Tara, you don't work here. Tara. Harvey. Look at her creeping on our restaurant. I mean, this Paula is too, though, but I, it seems more acceptable. It's undercover work. We haven't even sent Tara. She's really just doing it on her own. She knows what's up. See, now we locked all these people in. They're buying drinks. We're getting more money out of them. You know, one big problem, and I was complaining there were no new customers, but we did lock everyone in. No new customers can actually get into the restaurant. But I mean, as long as these ones are spending money, that's fine. It's a community pooping bathroom. If you're not part of the community, you shouldn't eat here. Jeez. So antisocial. All right, let's open the doors. I'm starting to feel bad. 
Yeah, she needs to clean this place up. Can you hire a maid <laughs> for your restaurant? Just like, cause sometimes, all right. First off, this has been there forever. This bagel has been there forever. Eat it. How is this gonna be here for 10 years? And like, I don't know who was sitting there, who was supposed to eat that. She's very happy with this bagel. Yeah, we need the bone hildas back. Why didn't they bring them back to The Sims 4? They were so good. They were a little crazy though, and they definitely harassed the pets. Start a group and have the group clean the restaurant for free. <laughs> it's actually a really good idea. The group system and get together, like you can abuse it so much to get certain things done. All right, no, I want it cleaned up though. You can't just leave the plate there. Oh my God, do you hear my stomach? It's like, whir, whir. I want strawberries. The strawberries look the best out of all these. <gasps> they keep showing them too. Wait, is that, that's a raz, that's a raspberry. I can't even talk anymore. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Eh. <laughs> eh. Uh, uh, that's like, is that Taco Bell nachos? Like, no, please. No, please, not. Nah, not good enough. Oh, crepes! <laughs> crepes! There's crepes! I'm shouting at someone in this room to tell them there's crepes, but no one's here. 